So you, you can pay almost almost close in total prices. You can pay almost uh, almost half a million dollar in total prices, total payout. And that's a good payout. Somebody walk out of here with a hundred thousand or or forty thousand. That's a good payout. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good. It's good to invest uh, uh, what five hundred dollars and win forty grand. I say yeah, forty yeah. grand. You know, something new every day. How I watch my performance. Hey, we learn something new every day, man. We woke up to learn a lot today. You know what I'm saying? We've seen a whole bunch of birds, over 1,400 birds in condition right now. You know what I'm saying? they flying all over. We're learning the program. We're learning how to do races. We're learning how to condition birds. Subscribe to the channel, West My Performance, uh, 30 Rich uh, YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you stay in tune with what's going on. This is the best of the best from the east to the west. me I won the big Andy race uh, a couple of years back that was a uh, that that year I won the Paul Daniel the franchise the franchise yeah I won first place and then about a month later I won the big Andy's race oh, damn. Like back to back it was like over a, over a hundred thousand dollars oh, that's good money on, on that winner so I said you know what let me put this to work you know what I'm saying so, yeah, that's, so that's when I bought all this and then I got into the I got into the because I've been wanting to do a one-loft race for a long long time yeah I've been wanting to handle one love races. It's not an easy task, man. But uh, it's crazy. Like, how, like, how hard, hard is it for you to do that? Like, huh? for, how, how much, how, how, how much time does it take you to be able to, man, orchestrate that? To to run this? Yeah. That's like seven days a week, every day. I mean, I mean. Is it I'm, worth I'm, it as far as the money you charging? Huh? The money you charging to getting your race is it worth it? Like after the end, do you? Do you, do, you see it, do you see it through? What's going on, baby? Cool G, double O G, triple O G. Johnny. Nice to meet you, Johnny. What's going on? Uh, nice to meet you. It is worth it. Uh, at the end, it is. I mean, um, if I think where the race is right now, yeah. it is because yeah. there's a, there's races out there that there there are not that many birds in the race, and you know yeah. it's still kind of like the same work. The only difference is that you're not. Uh, you're not dealing with that many birds, but uh, but it, I mean it is worth it or else I wouldn't do it You know, but I love the pigeon side too, the, the, yeah. the side of the pigeons too, you know, I love the, the birds too, you know, so so it does make a, a Different on that, you know, so yeah, so you back it, here a lot. You, huh? back, you back. It's hours back here a day Yeah, yeah, I mean I, I'm out here like almost the whole day and till eight nine But it's because right. it's more because running the race not because you're actual birds, right? Yeah, right, yeah. Right, right. Just taking care. Of, like right now, we are in the uh, training process. So that's why you see the truck and the trailer over there hooked up to it. Yeah, I got them up to about 50, 51 miles. You can yeah. take them right now. No, not today. Yeah. No, not today. Cause today it looks. Look at how it is. It's kind of nasty. And then we're, we're fixing to get a cold front coming through. Right, right, and it's right. gonna be cold and it's gonna be nasty uh, tomorrow. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna chill out. Cause I went three days in a row. And so then, make uh, it I'm just gonna fly them here today. If you take them on a day like this, I got a question. Would it make it a better bird if it can get home back, like in these conditions, or would it make it to where it's like, it's not a, it's not a good, it's not good to even fuck it, with it? It doesn't matter because we're at 50 miles, so it's just basically a train toss. And then uh, at this point, uh, I wouldn't say that it's gonna make them a better bird or not, but uh, I just don't want to risk them in that type of weather conditions. Is so, your bird's by because itself? sometimes you know when it's like this here cloudy and uh, uh, you know foggy. foggy and stuff like that they hit wires it's, I mean it's, it's a big flock of birds I got over uh, 1400 birds in there right, 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 right. Yeah. so so when you let them out you know sometimes they can get injured and and, uh, and uh, that's why but right now is like I said it's just training process right now and they're learning at the same time and so me taking them in the conditions like this it might uh, um, you know, might hurt them instead of doing them benefiting. Age-wise, how old are they between what and what age? Uh, people start sending me birds over here uh, March 1st. Okay. So everything, I, some of them are born probably like uh, in the middle, I mean in the beginning of the year. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, oh, seven months, eight months. Well, Ten months. Was, more. We already in, yeah. we already oh, in yeah. October, yeah. So, well, yeah, 10th, yeah, 10th. And some, some, mm -hmm. some of them, they're, they're hatching in December. Because oh. the people send them old, you know, like yeah. like at the beginning of the year. I see but they have to they have to wait till uh, till March first to start sending them. Okay. Yeah, but doesn't mean that they had them in the law for like. Two, so you three do months. this twice a year, or once a year. How many times a year do you do the race? Once a year. Yeah. yeah. Can once you do it more? Nah. That's too much. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. Yeah, like some people do. I, I run a a yumber race, so it's it's basically 
the race is, is, is run in the same year. Some people do yearlings. So yearlings mean that they they go from one year to the other. Yeah. So they have the, they have more time with the birds. But right. I don't like that kind of stuff because then uh, you don't get no little time for your family and, and yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, that makes sense. So once I'm, I'm done with this in December, yeah. I'll send them back to the breeders. Yeah. And then I have, I'll have some time to get all my paperwork done, to get everything done, tax and all that stuff. You know, yeah. I have from January all the way into March. And then sense. also family time and stuff like that. Because, man, this is this a burn you. The okay. yearling race, people start taking them in March, April, and then they have the race the, other, the next year around that time, you know? Yeah. So it's almost it's year round. So. He's speaking from the, from the person that's throwing a race, yeah. not the breeder. But he's speaking. No, 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 not the breeder. I'm yeah. actually, I'm actually the breeder too. Yeah, because I send now I send out birds too. So How many I, birds do you put in your own race? No, I don't. Uh, there's no birds in there. For me? Why is bias? Uh, it's against the rules. Yeah. Yeah, I cannot participate oh, in my own race. Because your birds could be training. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see yeah, what you're saying. No, 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 no. That's, no, that's, that's not. I can't even breed them and give them to you for you to put them there. It's just don't. Don't so, fly. So your genetics like really ain't in this race. It like is. That? It, it, well, let me take that back and let me make that clear too. There's people that purchase birds from me, they breed them, yeah. and they send them over to the race. Right, right, right. Now right. that's that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, okay because yeah. they're 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 doing their own breeding. Like last year, uh, we had a, a guy that won uh, first place at the 400 mile race, yeah. and the mother to that bird, I bred the bird, yeah. but then he was the breeder. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But nothing that is. Born in this property, goes in there. How much Nothing. did he win last year? Who, the guy? Yeah. Uh, it was it was um, optional race, and it was three birds on the drop, so they all split ten thousand. I mean, uh, thirty thousand, so ten thousand each. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, how long do you let them out for? In the mornings, we only fly them in the mornings. We feed them once a day, and sometimes we give them a little snack in the uh, afternoon. But uh, in the morning, they, they fly. When they fly here, they fly for an hour and 20, hour and 30 minutes. Is it hard to get 1,400 birds back in? Oh, you'll see it in a little bit when I, my brother will come out here and uh, he'll start flagging them. He'll get up on the roof and we'll start flagging them. And, and That's great. Yeah, but we got to let this uh, uh, little ground Smoke fog on. just kind of burn off a little. Yeah. Yeah, because like I said, they'll fly real low and then they'll hit wire, power lines, and stuff, stuff like that, you know. But I mean, it's a cool sight just to see that many birds. And I, when I started out, I had uh, uh, about 1,700 birds. But, you know, we start race. Yeah, here. Right. This year I took about 17, 1700, 1730. How much is the, how much is the end of your race? Uh, it's 150 perch feet, and then if you put a team of uh, um, bird, yeah, a team of bird, but it's six, uh, six bird. You, if you pay for five, you get an, an extra free. So basically, 750 for six birds. That's good. Yeah, and then activation is three hundred and fifty dollars each bird. Each bird after after training. After the one hundred mile race. Yeah. Isn't that six, six bird? The extra bird? It'd be, it'd be yeah, you have to activate. Bird. If you still got six by the activation you get to time, choose you, the one, you get to choose the one. No, activate. no, 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 no. You have to activate them all. You do? Yes. Oh, like what you mean by activate? Uh, whatever you have in the left after the one hundred mile, you are in charge to activate all of them. Or none. Oh, you say after the training. Oh, you playing ball. You making sure you make. No, you, you have to, yeah. And it's in the rules. And yeah. then there's a lot of race like that out there, so you got to read the rules. Yeah. Because if you don't, act, if you activate, you, you can't just pick. You can't say, up. okay, I'm going to pick this one and yeah. not activate right, so, the rest. So, so, like, I mean, Otto was telling me, he was talking about Victoria Falls. He was like, he, he kind of used the training to dictate which one he activate. But I could see you as a racer, like, not letting that happen. Like, no, you got to nah, activate here, all of them or none of them. Here in the state. Right. It makes more that. sense like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For yeah, you. Yeah. For you sure. got to back up your team, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So even if you got a, a slacker in there that don't that can't even fly, but he made the 100-mile 100, the 100 activation, you still got to activate him. Even you if he came in late. the training? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we kind of... Like, like, but if you come up to me and say, hey, you know what, I have, an, I have a situation, I can't, I can't activate my birds, that's fine. that's fine. I can go ahead and sell them to somebody else, but then now they become property of somebody else. So, now so you lose win, your birds too. You lose your bird. yeah. yeah. That's so, so that's what I'm saying. You got to back up your birds all the way through. Yeah, yeah, I see what yeah. you're saying. And after we have the uh, final race, which is 354 miles, then we have, we'll have an optional race. And then that's that's another activation right there. Let me ask you a question. Since you've been having this race, what genetics have been performing? So I know what they're saying. Last year, just because remember, this is my second year into it. Last yeah. year was my first year, yeah. and uh, and uh, basically a lot of people just saying bird over here kind of blindfold because they didn't know what kind of speed we were gonna have, 
how tough the race was going to be. Right. So anyway, at the end, everything turned out to be pretty, uh, uh, all the races pretty even on speed, you know, like pretty, pretty much the same yards speed. Yards per minute, how much? Huh? How many yards per minute? About 12, 1,300 yards. What kind of hard race? A uh, working race. Yeah. A uh, pigeon race. Yeah. yeah. Real race. Okay. A real race. Yeah. Pigeon race. A real race. They really worked on their own. Yeah. So just going back to that subject, um, uh, Ace Tag had about, um, he had a lot of the, uh, he had the Kittle and Kittle, uh, no, best Kittle, Kittle. Big Cross. Indian Greek connection too. Yeah. They had uh, porch, blood was in it. And, I got some and, of the blood. Yeah. Even, even on average speed, they were on top. I uh, know Ace Tech had um, uh, from Angelina, huh? From Big the, Andy. The Angelina stuff did really good. Yeah. That Angelina, yeah, the, yeah. the kiddo stuff. That's yeah. what I got. Yeah, that stuff is good. That stuff is good. <laughs> yeah, I got a daughter of his Angelina daughter. I heard. Yeah. I know what's going so, on. So <laughs> I got some birds off of her out there in the race. Too. Yeah. So um, uh, what else? What else? There was some other genetics. I mean, there was some other blood in there that did really good. It was a, it was an Asian guy that sent me three birds last year. And man, he was he was on the first drop at the final, and he was the average speed winner. Tell me this: Do you guys have an auction for the birds after the race? Not yet. The race. So they get their birds back? Yeah, they get okay. the birds back now. They get the birds back. See, uh, I want to be able to buy their birds. This this bird, is, right. I mean, this race is gonna be set up in the Fisher the auction. To auction. How long? How long till we do start that, doing that? Yeah. I don't know. It's just a matter of working it out. Yeah. We got the people. We got some people that got to work it out with. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not gonna be auction here in the state. Like people auction. Like you can uh, put auction. you like you can be able to, like how we got big Andy's. That it's on people. You can put we all there. you know we all working into that. I mean yeah. it's it's going that way. Yeah. 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 yeah I see. Yeah, I just see. you know. But for right now, I mean it just. Well, they lucky they get their birds back, cause I be mad that my bird win, I gotta buy it back. So your race, if we send a, if we send a bird here, we know we're gonna get a bird back. Yeah. That's the cool part. Yeah, well, right now it is. Yes, until we need to until use, we turn that. We need to use but that remember, we don't advantage. we don't change anything. <laughs> we don't change anything until the whole year finish, and then we'll do our, our rules all over again at the beginning before people start sending in birds. So that Make way they know what's going what, on. What's going on right. before they send their birds? You know, yeah. about everybody agrees to it. You know. Yeah. So, so that's that's what we'll do. But um, yeah, we're 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 gonna be set up like that too. A lot of people has asked me about it. Why don't you guys, you know, watching the bird? You know, yo. some people don't like it, but some people love it. No, like for me, if I was sending my birds, like I would want to keep my birds back. For me, like me buying birds, I want to see you have an auction because I could buy. You know, you can't. Right. They can't dictate the price of their bird. Yeah. So if the bird go for. Two thousand, but it's a seven thousand dollar bird. I win. That's that's the reason I'm sending out to the international races right now. Like the one, see, like uh, like Pattaya. That's a really good international race. I don't care what anybody says, but that's to me that's like one of the best right yeah. now. In Thailand. Uh, Thailand. Yeah. yeah. So I got six birds over there right mm -hmm. now. They're already training. Uh, Victoria Fall. I never done it before. I never uh, got into it. Ain't that the biggest one? No. Nah. Pattaya, Pattaya took, um, this, this past year, took 9,400 birds. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, not only that, they already, they still got about 8,000 some plus, you know, 8,000 plus birds left, you know. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're on the road training. But uh, Victoria, Victoria Fall has grown a lot. And um, like I said, I never tried it, so I sent four pigeons just how to try it out. How do you feel about Africa Pro? Uh, I think it's going to be a good one. I think it's going to be a, one of those good ones. It's not there yet. You know, it's new. Uh, it's a lot of people involved. It's, how do you feel like the South, about the South Africans winning majority of the major places? And in, in, well, in Africa, Victoria Falls is, is an also in Africa, but the Africans don't dominate the top ten on that race. Right now, right now we have a, a race here in the state that is in Miami, Florida. You ought to go check it out, too. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a Cuban guy, just like, like me. I'm yeah. Cuban, too. Yeah. So uh, he's, he took in like 40 some hundred birds this year, like 4,800 or whatever. It's like one of the biggest number now in, in the United States in that race. And uh, going back to that, most of the winners, kind of they're kind of local, local flyers, local people that, that, you know, within the area. So to tell you that in some places, you're gonna have a lot of the local guys do the best in the race. The so birds already familiar. Yeah, with the, the birds are already kind of like you know they're they're already the genetic of the bird is already set up to raise in that particular you don't area. Think it has something to do with the quarantine process and the birds could, being. Could be, 
could be that um but you know what i um i sent my birds a couple of weeks ago and they are already in uh victoria falls so i don't know if it's it has not something to do with no, the hunting because Africa Park has a different process than Zipitori Falls. It does? Uh, For sure. It's different. I think it's ran by different people. Yeah, I know they are. They are yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, Victoria Falls and African Pro, they ain't nothing to do with yeah, each I, I, I think it's, I don't know, but I think it's the quarantine process. Like the birds not, like they not down there long enough. Like the birds in Africa, they got them birds the whole time, you know? These birds got to sit in quarantine. They got to, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a long process before they can even get to race. How long do you have quarantine for that? For I don't even know. I really don't know. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't really checked into that race to to know exactly what it is. The first year takes. was last year. Yeah. Okay. The first year was last year, so it's it's a new race, but it's a lot. It's a big money race, though. They put like two million. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot. Of, it's a big entry. It's so a, it's, right now, it's, 10, it's like a high roller right now. Thousand dollars a bird. You can only put ten birds in, right? There's ten birds. Ten thousand for fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand for fifteen birds. Uh, Gotta act like birds. birds. Yeah, but at the end, it costs you like a uh, fifteen grand. For, yeah. for 15 birds? Yeah, yeah, or less than 15 birds. <laughs> so, yeah. But, um, huh? but I said, uh, man, I, 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 I really got into... I got 2.5 million. You went first place. Where's this money going? Houston. I need a million. I won. Since 2000. But don't get paid out like the first 2000, 2001. Birds, so I've been... Uh, many years uh, I've been so racing here locally. Pro? What, what got you into doing it? When I was little, man. No, no, no. I was born in Cuba. And I seen Mike I moved over to the state when I was 14. That's Houston. I think it's top 100 birds after. No, they're, they're going to build that race nice, man. And you it's start researching who do it around here? Yeah, I think but, uh, I, was, I had so pigeons really, over there when really I was little. We were supposed so to you sent, you sent some um, we pigeons it. from there to here? Or, or, no, 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 no. I just, I moved over here. You know, I went to high school. I did all that. So we graduated and all that. And I moved down to Houston. I lived, I lived in the state of Washington it was like the time was for four up. years, oh, and then I moved down to Houston okay. in 1999, and then I, I started I started looking for pigeons. You sending some birds to the airport? Yeah. Birds? Yes, sir. And uh, I found no, no, some no, no, birds no, no. I just, uh, local I, here, I, I, and I, I found clubs, this year, but like I said, and then that's how it got me back into it. So how was it when you was going to school? Tell me how it turned out. You know, race pigeons and you know I wouldn't talk about it like in high school. I let it go for a couple of years, and really it was like a different different world. Nobody knew about it. Yeah. Nobody knew about it. I wish I did because I had here a, in the state? a coach there yeah. because like, uh, at the time uh, that it was like a pigeon flyer and I never knew that. Uh, and down, so when I moved here, kind of I started a, looking through the uh, books, whatever, uh, the AU the, membership the, book, the and I found his name Africa, and I called him. Like, uh, one of the and I, you know, all that time that, that, that I lived over there, I never knew that he had pigeons. But my body would have stayed over there. He remembered you pretty much in the world. Yeah, when I come here, he was So right now you're doing training. You're doing training for your race, right? Right now we, right now I'm basically over there. Love manager. One year I think it's So I train pigeons for. I got pigeon here from the Black Oak. Got pigeon here from Canada. In the, the United States, of course, and then we got pigeons from Mexico. Where, where so they pay the cars and stuff like that. How long they been here? money and stuff like that, but Since never March. won the race or anything. So. What's that, so 10 months? Yeah, they still get paid? So, uh, yeah, they got yeah, paid. So that was like the first 100 yeah. places. Most of the majority of those birds, uh, they're young or older? It was actually, I bred the birds. They're young, but they're already... They're older now, but I'm saying when they sent them, what they was about. How old was that? They were, i say maybe about a couple of months, anywhere from two to three months. Yeah. Four months max. Yeah, but there were there were uh, all 20, uh, 20, 22 hatch. So, so now they about a year old. Mm, a yeah, little, little bit. Kind old. of. Nah, they're about ten months. Okay. Yeah, they're strong. Huh? They're strong. Oh yeah, wait till you see them. They look like they look like old pigeons. Yeah. Yeah, they already all molted out. Beautiful looking birds, you know. They're hey, no lo suelta todavía, ¿eh? No. So, so yeah. Um, yeah, they, they look mature. How long did it take you? I know you've been fucking with pigeons for a long time. How long did it take you to understand how to run a race? Like how to how to orchestrate a race? Well, my uh, my whole base uh, structure comes from club racing. So basically, I already knew how to handle pigeons, how to how to fly birds, okay? Yeah. Because I've been doing this uh, club racing for many many. Which I like I told you before, I love to race here locally. They're racing right now. I'm jealous, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not doing it. It's not the same amount of money as the one off score, right? No, it's not. But, but it's hobby. But it's, it's, uh, it's more it's like cool. a competition. A competition. Yeah. Uh, you know, like calling each other, hey, you know, what time you got on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, yeah. so that, right there, I missed that. Yeah. You know, where, where the uh, one off race 10, I'm just basically training birds for everybody and, and get them down the road and they just come back home. I mean, it's the same thing over and over and over 
daily. Mm -hmm. yeah. So racing in the club, to me, that's what I love the most uh, because I can go take my birds train and then at the Hands same time, on. yeah, train yeah. them. I got to prepare them birds to beat you. Yeah, that's that's the thing. This here, I just got to prepare them to come back, to return home. Right. Yeah. So I just got to give them enough enough uh, fuel to come back home. The ones that I train for the club racing, I got to train them to beat to beat you. Right. Yeah. Whether the wind is in my favor, whether the wind is is, is against me, I still gotta, you know. So the way you train one off bird is not the same when you race club birds. It's not quite the same. It's a little different, but um, because. Uh, when I train the uh, 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 club birds, I train them twice a day. I go on the road and I love fly them in the evening. Yeah. So that's twice a day training. So I really beat them. I beat them down to to, to get the best out of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, while this, they just train once a day. They get fed. They stay there. They chill. They relax. They take a bath until the next day. What's the difference between your club results and your one-off results? You personally racing. Are you do better. Have you done better in club? Well, that, that's the thing. Uh, uh, here in the in the city. I won everything over the years. I won everything, every category that you can think of. Yeah. I've been, I've been uh, uh, first place. I even got at the national, yeah. uh, at the EU national races. Yeah. Races. I've been in the Hall of Fame. I've been in the National Ace Pigeons. I mean, I, I won every category here, locally racing Club. and and uh, against uh, the other AU members in the AU. When you took it up to one off, was it the same? It wasn't because the amount of bird, but um, your background, your base, everything. It's the same, right. you know. You basically know how to take care of birds, but you're dealing with a lot more birds, and you're dealing with a lot of different genetics. You, are you? That's uh, that's a that's are a you big difference. With better in birds this. and one off, huh? Better birds and one off. I put it this way: I think um, I think there is better birds in the one loft, but for that particular job, for the one loft race job, for that, right. when you fly in the club, I feel that the genetic of my birds, I can do with them whatever I want. Like I can, I can beat them down. I can take them down, and they can hit rain on the way, and they still come back home. Right. This you guy right here, you do that? You, no, you never, if, if, you, if you do that, you might lose half of them. Right, because they might not come back to where they, they got to go to. To me, it's, yeah. it's different genetics in there than the one that you are um, that you have in your own loft that you've been racing for many, many years. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So these are birds that, like I said, you beat them down day, week after week and days after days, and. And, and, and you get them to do stuff like that. Question, have you sent your club birds to one loft versus? Uh, I have, and because they don't get trained enough, they don't perform. That's but, why the genetics is different. I see what you're saying, so, yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, so. I, a lot of them do good, but they do good in the one loft race where people train similar to what I do. Like similar club training? Yeah, where people that beat them down. But the one loft bar races can't go to the club races and perform? They can they can I mean, vice versa. I mean, it, it all comes down to a good pigeon. And a good bird is going to be good whether you fly in the club or whether you do it in, in the, in the right. one law phrase. But I'm just saying that there is some genetics that you got to uh, work them harder to get the best out of them. So and they don't get that at the one law phrase. So that's, they, what, that's where the difference is. So these pigeons can be rehomed from club racing to being sent off to somebody else and get trained by somebody else? When they're baby, you can send them to any, now rehoming them, this, it's not really a, the, no, no, no. no. Like, like they're like they homing skills, you know what I mean? No, like if no I fly them races. Here, Once they race, they're not racing again. Yeah. Yeah. They're not racing again. Yeah. Okay, so it's not like if you train, so the ones you send off for one law of racing, you can train them first though, like, like you saying can you race. can you use these birds to train and do mm -hmm. a race and then send them to yeah. another race? No. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, like yeah, you They'll can't do that. Be too old. Exactly. Well, yeah, yeah it'll right. be they'll be too old. Once like like them, trying yeah. to like trying to get some birds from here from the black gold race to send over to South Africa. Right, that's exactly. not gonna work. Yeah, okay, I, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't recommend that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's better that's to send them money. in that stage where they're still babies, they're still young, and and then they're they kind of home to that area. Exactly, and then that. That, that okay. actually that loft. Yeah, so, yeah. but I'll tell you what I can do, and it does work. I can get birds from the black gold race, bring them here to my loft once it's done, and fly them into the club race. And they still, you know, some of them birds that don't good there, they, they don't do good right there at the, at the black gold race. I bring them here, and they become better pigeons at the club. Because they already been home to the property. Yeah, but the property isn't there in the they same property. Home. All they're changing is loft. Yeah. And they get used to it. When they can't go over there, they can't trap in in the, in the big loft. They trap right in. They'll come over here and they trap in and that's it. Okay. They don't ever, ever go back over there. So right. that makes, that's, and that. But they're in the same property. 
Yeah. So they're flying Honestly, actually to the same house. Yeah. So oh, they yeah. come to the same I, place. The Black Gold Birds yeah. already had training because they already had race before you put them in the club. Like. Yeah, they had all that experience. Yeah. So is that could be. They kind of help out. Yeah. yeah. The only difference was that I was training the Black Gold Birds over here, north, straight north, and then the race for the clubs were northeast. So they had to fly from a different course. All right. That was a different, but they had all that experience from flying there up to 400 miles. So, I mean, the, the, that experience is in them. <laughs> it's a, it's, 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 but that tells you that sometimes a pigeon may not, be do, may not do good in the one in the one loft race, and when you take them to the club, they're explosive, and they win, and they're jumping birds, and they do something else. And do you're you like, believe, you I would have like just the killed that. The 150-mile bird <laughs> is a different bird between the 400-mile bird, or you believe that the 150-mile could do the 400-mile? Different no, it is, it is, it is different genetics. Uh, I, I do believe that there are some pigeons that might do all around. They do all the distance, and they're good at all, the, all the distance. Yeah. But, um, but I think, um, I think you got some sprint pigeons, and then you got some longer distance pigeons. Because right. that's why in Belgium they concentrate on the really, really long distance pigeons, and then they have like the kiddos and best kiddos stuff where it's a sprint bird, but doesn't mean that you can't cross those birds to get them to fly the 350 to 400 miles. Right, right, right. Yeah, because uh, <clears throat> right now the, um, the, the pigeon that I call Little, Bel Little Belgian Queen, it was a bird that I, that I bred and I sent over to Big Andy, but not the one loft race, I sent them over to Spring Hill for them to fly in the club, and that's number one in the country right now. I bred that bird, it's, it's on the AU. It's a national lace pigeon mm -hmm. right now. First place in the country. At an all club? At one, she was best bird of the year in Spring Hill, Florida. And then her, um, <clears throat> she scored in, um, in, the, in the AU. Her uh, um, unit rate was the lowest unit rate in years. So she's number one ace pigeon. Your bird? Yeah. You a seller? No, we sold it already. How much? It sold for 15 grand. Okay. Yeah. How much did she win you? No, I was club racing. Club racing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was club racing. Wait, but you, you, it was easy to sell her. It was, it was easy. Yeah. Yeah. It was easy. Yeah. Any any birds, and that's that's what I, that's what I, when I started this, I started with um, with uh, club racing. So I wasn't always a, a, a you know one loft race. So the guy, club so. club racing is just for the sport. It's not for money. It's a sport, but it's a little it's a little money in it. I mean, not not to not like this. But it's a little money oh, in it because we still run. In the clubs, we run auction race where you get paid if you win. Uh, they do band race. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the, the difference is that in the club, in the club, you just gotta, you just gotta love the club racing. You just, that's gotta be in you. You gotta you know, do what you do for that. Yeah, because you, you got time to do the time. The, the I mean, it's it's, it's several that's things to do that. It's several and things and that, that, and that is different than this. For you to learn your genetics. You need to concentrate on one so law where the money is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you wanna, if you wanna concentrate on, <laughs> on where the money is, is the one law race. Yeah, the club is more like bragging rights. Like you know? in 30 years, you might fuck with like the club race. You don't play shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Right and, now, and, and it takes a different type of person to do the club uh, race too, man. Like, like I said, you got to put a lot to get very little out. Of it. You know, because I mean, there's more training. There's more. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a lot of everything more. And this right here, you just breed them. Uh, when they're 45 days old or two months old, you send them off. You don't have to do nothing else. You pay your entries, and that's it. You just watch it to see if you win at the, uh, when they're having the races. But Where's the club, you? you're there with the birds. Like, I'm here now with these birds. You're training for like six, seven months. You're getting them ready for just two, uh, maybe eight weekends of racing. So you're, you're preparing these birds for for almost 10 months to get them to race two months. But you actually got to train them for like three or four months before you start training. The club club and one loft race is totally different. So the club racing. Some people, some people don't have competition in their area. Right. And some people do. You got cities right now where they're flying more than more than 100 people in the club. So it's, it's, very, it's very excited to, uh, to be in it and something like that, you know? So you go out there and chill, like, you know, go drink a beer with the people. I asked him to tell me some shit like this, like, last year at Hoosier, when I first bought my birds, he was like, him and nine other people were going to put ten bands in the pot. We all going to put ten bands in the pot. And whoever win, win. And who, who, whoever bird do the best, take the 100000 like a side bet. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's kind of hard. I'm, I'm, like that. I'm with shit like that. Like, 
I'll call you like, hey, I bet my bet do better than this. Put some money in there. And the clubs, they do the same thing. Yeah, they, they, they bet, they, they, they'll bet like uh, 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 your love against somebody's love, and and they they go they go not for big money like that, hundred thousand, but uh, some people some people get crazy enough and they do a couple of grands. They go, you know, they do nah, five thousand dollars. Money, I need some two, three hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you need to go there, Africa, bro, man. Yeah. <laughs> so that club racing been around longer than the one loss racing. Oh yeah. That's, sure. that's kind of how it all started. Yeah. So yeah. how long is in, the one in Belgium? Long? That's where it started. Right. Club racing. In Belgium, they still club racing. They club racing, racing though. See, that's the funny right. thing because all the people, the, the pigeons that everybody chase, come from clubs. Come from clubs. Right. The people, the pe people in Belgium, Holland, and even uh, uh, in Germany, they're, they're they club racers. Best kid, all that shit is club. <clears throat> all that's club racing. They just, National they just breed it up and send it to the one lot, huh? Yeah, but see, what, uh, how, so the, the, how, dif the difference how, is... How, how do we understand that? But you did make a valuable fact, like, best Kittle, Kittle, Autumn Birds, and Club Birds, and they going crazy in one-off. Competition, numbers. They have the competition. They have the people. They have the competition there. What do you mean? They have, uh, they, I don't oh, know, they, they, they might have three, 4,000 members racing. Competing. Oh, so I see what you're saying. So that's how they. People that's how their genetic yeah. yeah. become better and better every year. Many people racing. Many yeah. people racing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, like I said, here in the states, you got clubs where they only got five members, and three of them might train, the other two might not do anything. They just basically sit on their ass and yeah. and, and just see send the happen. bird. So there's no competition. Yeah. But in in, in a city where you got a hundred plus flyers, and they you get at least about thirty or forty of them to really uh, train. And, and and give you a competition, then you breed better birds every year. So there's there's cities here where people don't have competition. In Belgium, that everybody, in Belgium, everybody is. Everybody got a dog. That's, that's yeah, everybody got a bird in backyard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Another thing they do in Belgium is um, everybody breeds their best with their best, and oh. that's how they get better genetics. Like with each other. Uh huh. Like if uh, if this person win a national lace or KBDB this year. They might do a co-breeding with somebody else that that won the pre the previous year, yeah. and that's you're breeding two top notch bird together. Yeah. So now you're getting a different genetic out of that out of two ace pigeons. No and here you don't find that. You win here, and nobody want to do no co-breeding with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Want to buy your bird? Nobody, no, nobody. Yeah, the clubs, nobody, nobody cares about that. That's why. That's why they emphasize, that's why they, everybody is on the one law phrase then, you know. And even at the one law phrase, when somebody wins in the one law phrase, those birds, they don't even get to co-breed them. They don't do none of that. I've been seeing them co-breeders. Uh, like, little. you send your bird to me, and I breed, you breed to your bird best, to my bird. Yeah, to like, best, towards the got. blanks, even a, a dude from Kuwait, they do a lot of co breeds with people. Thorsten and them. And overseas, there you go. Again, overseas. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> now, United States. Please, you understand this shit? You're not... I'm listening. United States, United States is different, man. Different. Everybody is, uh, <laughs> is, is, is different. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. People don't do that. Because yeah. you know, like, uh, like for example, I could have, I could have got my seventy thousand dollar winner from Big Andy uh, race, right? From his one loft race, the bird that won me seventy grand. What year? I, uh, in 2019, 2020. So I could have got that bird and Probably maybe co-breeding, co-breeding with somebody else that that did. It. Uh, good. good the following year, put them together and get some breeding out of that to see if you know. Did you somebody know. hit you up to do that? I, I got a guy that that wanted the following year and and, and we talked about it. Huh? You have the bird? I, I, yeah, I have that bird here. How much for the bird? For that bird? Yeah. <laughs> I, I I bought that bird in Pippa for almost ten ten thousand uh, dollars. How much? Is it, what is the bird? What genetics? It's um, it's a cross of uh, she's a granddaughter of Picasso. So have you ever heard of uh, uh, the Picasso bloodline, Johnny the Greek? I seen it on. You seen Johnny the Greek before? Yeah. He he runs. He has a lot of that Picasso bloodline. But at one time, I had like uh, about six or seven direct children of Picasso. I sold them, and that's when I bought the porch. <coughs> but but uh, still got some of that genetic here. I still yeah. got some of that blood here. Okay. And then um, uh, so on the top side, she's a uh, granddaughter of Picasso. On the mother side, she's a. Uh, she comes from uh, Peter Benstrap. Hey man, let's walk out here. Man. Yes, yeah. Also, all my birds, uh, uh, my law, that loft right there, uh, that right there, eventually was uh, it was built um, in uh, in July. We built this right here, and uh, it's set up for racing, club racing. <laughs> uh, like I said, uh, and then next year, 
the Houston area is going to have the AU convention. Yeah. So we're going to have people coming from all over the place, even from overseas. How do they sign up for that? For what? For Online? Plumbers? <clears throat> on the AU? Yeah, AU. <laughs> Explain it. Yeah, the, on the AU, uh, you have to, well, actually, you have to become first uh, a member of a club here locally. And then, and then submit your membership to the AU. And then once you have that, then you get to go. And and you you, can, so you cannot be from Fort Worth, you gotta be from Houston. You gotta be from Houston, from the surrounding area. Like you and gotta what's be, the website? Fort Worth, they, they got some over there too. What's the website they go on to? The AU, um, uh, I think it's AU Pigeon Org. Uh, www.au. A -A AAU? Yeah, AU, yeah. Pigeon Org. AU is one A? Yeah, A. One A. AU, what'd you say? Pigeon. What is it after that? Uh, I think it's Pigeon Org. Okay. Then, they, then they just register. They have to be a part of a club, though, right? Yes. Yeah, so part, like so. Once you become a, a, a club member, then they submit your uh, membership to the AU. Okay. And then you're once you're an AU member, then then the, you can race in the club. And when you say you got to be a, you have to be a club. member? You got to find a club in your area. As far as like other other other, you know what I'm saying, pigeon racers. Or are you saying you got to be a team of people? Yeah, you gotta be a you gotta be a team of so that club you basically become a member of that club, uh -huh. and once you become a member of the club, then you submit your uh, AU. So membership. we'll have to we we'll have to you know what I'm saying join so, another club so we're, we're, locally. You're, yeah, you guys from Fort Worth? Yes, sir. Okay, so in Fort Worth area and uh, Dallas area, they got clubs. So you gotta find a club there if you really want a, a club race. So could we start our own club? Is the real yeah. yeah, yeah. If you got like, I think um, uh, you can open up uh, your own club, but then you still gotta be associated with uh, another uh, club, another hey. another oh. uh, combine, because it goes from club, combine, and concourse. It's like three different levels. So what it means is, uh, the more people they get combine, the the cheaper it's gonna cost you at the end. Right. Because um, uh, everything gets split down to the membership. So, but you gotta find, you can be a club, you can do a club as long as you got five members. I think okay. you can do a, you can have a club. And then you can, you can run your own race and everything, but you have to submit your club to the AU. And, you, and, and the AU will give you like a, like a membership uh, What do number. they require though? Hmm? What out do they require? You um, I have to talk it over with the AU to, to do a club, I think. They require like some rules and, and some, it's a, it's a club. It's basically on the website. It is yeah, it's on the website, it's on there. That stuff got peanuts in it, it's got a bunch of stuff in it. What the peanuts do? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good protein and a good fat. Uh, pigeons convert uh, the fat from the peanuts into muscles, mm. to turn into muscles, so they get strong. And what'd you say the rice do? Uh, rice is, uh, keeps uh, the birds uh, hydrated. And it gotta be brown rice? It's gotta be in the shell, yeah. It's gotta be just that white rice. So it's, it's the regular rice inside, but it's got to have that fiber in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and then this is a Canadian mix. Uh, this I is. This. This. Uh, yeah, that's uh. Ain't that better than this one? No, that's. Hey, but Joe, Joe, Joe Biden, I think. Joe Biden, Joe Biden, or Joe Biden, whatever they call it, Joe Biden. It's a green that. bag. It's another one that's kind of like like the, that. The red, the red grit mix. I don't mm -hmm. use that. I use this shit. Oh, I use that. I use the all. They like, they like it too. That's candy. Yeah, it's candy. That's picking candy, candy, man. They love that. They like Skittles. Yeah. They love that. And then uh, that right there in the box is uh, is uh, rose kind of peanut, peanuts. What, what is it? This right here. So, so when the peanuts lose your mix, yeah. I put it in they the feed. Bad, huh? I put it in the feed all the time, man. And uh, the black gold raised birds, they eat this daily. Mm -hmm. They get, they get that. It's to the west in the building, man. We in uh, Houston, Texas, huh? Oh, yeah. Looking at some of this best of the best, man. My man uh, doing a uh, black gold race training. Yes, man. sir. A whole lot, whole lot. What's my top dollar? This is uh, straight out of Cali, too. That's crazy. I, you got, I, I need to get you. 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 I need to that's like the best grain they can eat. Sunflower, mm -hmm. this is the sunflower. And then this is safflower. It's different and it's good for fat. It's, it's good fat in it. It's got good carbohydrate in it. And, that, and they, they start having for strength for muscle? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and they, they, get that, they, get, they get strong with all this stuff, man. All this stuff is good for the birds. It's a mix. Yeah, it's a, it's a mix, but, but when, I, when I mix it all up, I, I mix a bunch of different, uh, I get a little bit from this, a little bit from that, and I make my own mix. At the end, I make my own mix. Yeah, and this is another, uh, this is from Europe right here, from Belgium. 
This is like a new, new stuff that's coming in the country. I'll be saying I'm boy using this aging board. Yeah, this is this is all new stuff, man. Coming from Northern. I really, I really like the best, the cheapest. This is the cheapest one right here, and I kind of like this the best. Why? I don't know. It, it looks good. It looks good. It looks good. good. I got everything but in it. They come. Uh, this come in 44 pound bag. Where you get this from? Um, I, I got it. It comes straight from Belgium, but I got it from Menville from Seagulls. From Seagulls. From Seagulls. Yeah, they're they're a little different. It's more white. It's like more shit in there. And then this one has, this one has some. Uh, yes. see, no, this is like a like a bean, some kind of bean, and then uh, it's got safflower, sunflower. It's got, so it's good for mixing. I love it for mixing. You know. I gotta go get it. Uh, this is from uh, Canada. Another good mix. I like this mix out of all of the ones you that they have. Of, you, I mean, you go to a lot of birds for that. Uh, every day, the uh, black gold rays, they, they uh, eat about three bags of feed. Three every day. bags? Daily. Never. Daily. So well, it's like three of all this stuff mixed up, though, you're saying? Yeah. 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 So how many times they eat a day? Like, you think? Once. Once a day? But yeah. you got so many birds that they going through. Yeah, I mean over fourteen hundred birds, right. and then at one time, like I said, I had about seventeen hundred. So you can imagine when you got nine thousand bird, right? That's that's gonna. No, be. I can't. <laughs> that's a, That's probably. Uh, I, I say it's probably like about ten bags or more. If you had nine thousand birds, you had to get some help. Oh yeah, I got help now. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I only got over a thousand something. Yeah. Oh, How many birds do you handle your own in without any help? Um. I think um, I think one a love manager with a thousand bird is good enough. Right. Yeah. You can handle up to a thousand, twelve hundred. How many hours a day you gonna be out if, if you got a thousand, twelve hundred? You're gonna be you're gonna be the whole day. The whole day out yeah. out here. Every day. Birds. Seven days. No, but remember I got my own birds too that I gotta take care of right. the daily too. So I got fourteen hundred plus, almost 1, fifteen hundred birds over there. Plus I got another 300, no, 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 no. Three, three, 300 over here, you know, that I got to take care of. And then breeding season, I got to take care of my own too. So you are, are you already, did you say you already training yours, your own birds for food racing right now, or are you going to do that next year? Not next year. So basically the process is at the beginning when we're taking birds in, um, well, they come as baby, that we get them in, in shipping boxes, they come here. Then uh, uh, normally what I do is I, I put them by sections and quarantine by sections. So I take care of them as they come in. We feed them, as more come in, then we, we, we start another section, quarantine section. So everything gets uh, treated as they come in and then, uh, and then they get vaccinated. They get the whole process, they get vaccinated, they get registered in the computer, and then, they, like I said, and they get treated. And then, um, and then we quarantine by sections. That's what we do when we, when we get them here. So how long are you quarantine them for? Uh, they basically stay in there uh, for over a month. Okay. In that section where they're just drinking out of that water container. Or container. They, they're, they're eating there together. They don't get mixed in. And it's, it, takes, it takes about two months, three months almost to get them all mixed in. Right. Can you talk about, talk about how you got that built right there and why you got that built like that for the people that don't know what that is. Well, the... The, the loft is sitting so high that we got um, uh, we had to do some kind of a ramp to self-load the birds. So, so that's what we did, that ramp right there, and that's how they load in the, into the trailer. It's a process that we got to teach the bird, but at, at the end, it makes it so much easier because you can just run them through the hallway, and they go straight into the trailer by themselves without me touching them. So right. imagine loading up uh, 1,500 birds in 20, in 20 minutes. All right. It's crazy. So, how much so, would it be? so they self-load in there, yeah. and that's how we created that ramp. Uh, yeah, a lot of where people, they just go into the trailer. A lot of people like is, is mind boggled by this whole process, and and uh, Johnny here is, you know, he's showing us the process of the race process of how do they get the birds from the living quarters to in the trailer to where they go train and race at. And this is the process right here. You see how he said he got to run them in here. They go through the trailer. You see the trailer. And you know that's how they do it. How much do it cost to build one of these? Do you think? Nowadays? Nowadays. <laughs> okay. The the loft is, is 20, 20 foot wide by a hundred feet long, 
So um, it can take up to 2,000 birds. So you can have 2,000 birds in there. So it's got capacity for 2,000 birds. The Avery part is just for the birds to, to come out outside and relax and everything. So, so um, going back to that, I don't, I don't know, but I, I say when I, when I build this building, there was over 100K involved in it. If okay. you're gonna do it right now, about a, co a quarter million dollar Dang. because of the steel wow. for the house. Yes, yeah. That's but that's steel. if you're set up, like, you know, when I did this, I set it up for a big race or for a good size race. And I'm not, I didn't set up for, to be the biggest race, yeah. but I set up for a good, decent race. And yeah. I think anywhere from a thousand to two thousand birds, it's, it's a good, a good race. race. It's a good race. Yeah, it's and something race. that can a human still, you know, one, yeah. you know, one person or two person can still handle yeah. without, you know, being being a headache. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can have a really good race with 1,400 birds sure. in the race. Why not? You can still have a really good payout. You can pay, you can pay over. Almost a half a million dollar with that it depends on what you charge, you know. But you can you can pay almost a half a million dollar if you activate fourteen hundred birds, yeah. you know, in total prices, in total and prices. Said, not 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 the first place, but in total prices. And you say how much you, how much you charge to activate the birds? Three hundred and fifty dollars. Three hundred and fifty. How much how much they gotta pay you to send them off for training? Uh, uh, one fifty per bird, oh. or you can send a team of six for seven fifty. Gotcha. So you get an extra free. So once fee. you pay five, that, that, yeah, that's, like a per, that. that's a perch that's a perch fee. And you, right. said, and you said all them birds add up together with them paying you that fee add up to about a quarter million dollars? No, I'm, I'm saying that if, if you activate uh, uh, about 1,400, do the math, you know, 1,400 birds times $350, you know, with right. that, you know. So you, you can pay almost almost close in total prices, you can pay almost uh, almost half a million dollars in total prices, total payout. And that's a good payout. Somebody walk out of here with 100000 or or forty thousand, that's a good payout. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good. It's good to invest uh, uh, what five hundred dollars and win forty grand. I say yeah, forty yeah. grand. You know, you got to know what um, what birds to send in certain races, and for you to be able to make forty thousand dollars and learn about your bird at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Because now you win birds off these races and let you know what to send to Africa Pro or what to send to mm -hmm. tire, tire. You know what I'm saying? So these races, you know they. They, they they dictate what what races we send to the international race. What birds we send to the international? Well, for me, that's how I look at it. If I win a black gold race, I'm gonna be trying to breed that bird and send it to a, a, on a bigger stage and see what it do. You know, so like sure. these races is needed. Sure. This 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 is uh this is like a base race that gives you uh, an idea of what your genetic can do somewhere else, and and um, and and it's good to have them. I mean, it's it's, it's good to have them. Don't uh, don't get me wrong. Um, I like um, I like uh, races that that have a thousand birds and out in in it, you know, and that, and also that the uh, the lock man here do do his part. How, how how you deal with the hawks right here? I mean, like uh, I don't, the, you know, I I don't get bothered that much right. out here, but yeah. once in a while I do get one or they, they strike the they, me out of the sky. You do know, a change, do it change the way they fly? Do you see them sometimes getting chased? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I, I've seen them where they they catch them too. Yeah, there's yeah, so yeah. many birds, but yeah, yeah. he got so many options, you know, when when, yeah, 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 when yeah. it comes to attacking the whole flock, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, but um, but yeah, no, definitely. Uh, but they don't bother me as as much as in the city. When I was living in the city, yeah. man, I get hawk attack daily, two, three, four times a day. Yeah. Here, maybe once, once, you know, once or twice a week. Yeah. So it's it's, it's different by you know living here uh, out here in the country. I don't know. Yeah. But the but the hawks here, they're more like a sniper though. Yeah. Once they once they once they go down for it. Yeah. I mean they 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 hardly miss. So what's the process like? Uh, let's say I was to send my birds off to this race and uh, a bird was to catch one. Is it like, like send back the training fee or? Uh, no. It's what, like that. So I got to so sign off on that from the jump. It is um uh, some kind of a, uh, a protection well, there for you. Yeah. So so when you send birds to one loft race you have a um, certain time for replacement time okay? okay so if the bird meaning that if the bird gets sick you, or i lose the bird you still get time to replace it now once that replacement time is done whatever happens to the bird you do not get reimbursed right. for perch fee or technically you're never going to get reimbursed but you don't get a chance to send another one a replacement right. is, is there a lot of other races like that where they send replacements yes and then also activation and people always get these people get 
fear they don't send their money in because uh, oh I'll wait to the end to see if my bird's still gonna be there people don't have to worry about activation when you activate a bird even if you do it early and your bird don't make it to 150 miles to the very first race you get your money reimbursed 100 percent only because you once you activate it. you're you know you're only, you're only you're only paying for the ones that got sent to the 150 miles right, 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 right. yeah so when once I run like I get people sending me activation fees before I even do the activation race mm. because they they already know Right, right, right. You know, if, if I lose their bird before the 150 miles, I'm gonna give them their money back. Right. I'm gonna take that out of the uh, I'm gonna take that out of the out of the capital price and give it back to the owner. Okay. So, so um, just just kind of you know give you some kind of a uh, you know just kind of back you up a little bit. Right. Of that. But it's, it's on the it's on the it's on the rules. I can get him to uh, start law flying them because we need to exercise them. Yeah, I think you can run a good race with a couple of thousand birds. Right, right, yeah. Just watch your steps. This ain't even done. You look good, man. We, we, we the pigeon for a pigeon off. Wearing the black gold race right here. The black gold race. Uh, this, this up here is the landing board up there. So that's how the birds drop in. And we'll get to see that once we walk in the hallway. Uh, this is the, the, the system, all the electronics, everything that you can see online on the internet is hooked up right here. The clock, the antennas, they're up there, and everything runs through here and it goes through the internet. And you can just see it for yourself. Something you ain't never seen before, got one more Trey Black, man. You just got with my Performance franchise, stop what you're doing right now, follow. Uh, Trey Black, follow uh, Wismar Performance, follow Top Dollar Killers. Yeah. Um, subscribe. We're going to show y'all some of that best of the best. Yeah. Come in through here and get scanned. They yeah, there's uh, four antenna pads in front of that. So when they come in, they all get scanned. Everything goes to the computer system and they should set out to the internet. Because a lot of people don't know how, like, how do they track the winner. So they track the winner by these scanners, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, these, um, they all got chip prints. So like I said, they all got electronic bands on them when they come in. Early and uh, when they get sent over here, everything gets registered in the computer, and then we register them, and they have that tag on there since the day one they come here. Yes, so sir. we we take care of that from the beginning. I don't wait a month or two months later to do it. I just do it as soon as they get here. That way I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, and then we'll do, we'll do like a hand inventory where we uh, uh, we check double check, make sure that the birds got. Uh, the tag on it and everything. Just verify everything, man. Yes, sir. Uh, this loft got 10 sections. They uh, come out the section? Yeah, they'll, they'll come out through there. No, yeah, they'll come out in here. But I'm saying uh, they one. got. Oh boy, it's flying. They come out when they want to? Yeah, well, when I want to, not when they want to. No, oh. I control everything, oh, yeah, but uh, out of the sections, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they can come out here in the hallway to come drink, drink water and they can go from one section to another. Yeah? Right? Yeah. Yeah, because they're technically they're open. Yeah. So they stay open. But but uh, uh, this these sections right here, I mean, every section has uh, 236 perch. So how, 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 how do you change them to go back to that same section? They don't. They just uh, they 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 can be in any section they want to. <laughs> now you can tell you take care of them. They look good. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know who this belongs to. I just, I just picked up a random bird. Yeah. They look good. So it's, it's got a full wing. Everything is molded up 100%. You know? That bird look good. Awesome. I don't even know bird. I don't even know. 335. So, so, so what, um, what physical attributes should show you that this is a, a good bird? Uh, that, you know, I don't even, like, the birds in here, it's funny though, because the birds in here, I don't look at it that way. I mean, I, I, I can handle the bird. Oh, shit. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that's a problem. 
I, I can, I can, I, I handle the birds, and I, and I, and I know when a pigeon has really good uh, body oh, quality and everything. Them, yeah. that, you know, it feels real good and everything. But yeah. at the end, I don't like. I said I don't look at them that way. I just, you know, I train them. I do everything. I try not to handle them that much. Right. So we don't, we don't touch them much. Yeah. Other than when the when we're looking for something or, or we actually want to see how they feel and everything, when then we, we grab them, you know, but we normally, uh, we just let them be in here free, man. And you can, you can be in here, you don't smell nothing. You know what I'm Feel their whole confirmation how they feel that they're ready to race, they're ready to train. No, he like asked he asked you like not specifically black like, up racing pitch, just pitch. How do you general, the pitch in, in general? In general? Yeah. Well then you know I look for qualities in the birds where you know their, their wind, uh, how their wings look and everything and, okay. and then how their muscles and their structure, the, the body, how uh, you know how strong they are on the forearm, right. stuff like that. That's the uh, stuff that we look for. Feel that pigeon that we kind of you know we like. Do the, like. Do the birds start breeding right in here? Yeah. They don't even lay eggs. They don't know. And they're all together, hens and cocks. Why? Wow. Right, because no. they're training. Oh, okay. When you're training them, yeah. it's like they don't have no time for they that. They got no energy. Yeah, they, yeah, they ain't got no. Energy. no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're working them. Yeah. The same thing. Same thing. Same thing at the club. At the club race, uh, uh, people sometimes ask, it, well. You don't get their, you know, the, the, the cocks and the hens the laying eggs and laying up or not. Nah. When you train them, when you're working them, you ain't got no time for that. you ain't never seen that happen before, ever? Like in all well, your you ain't never seen them doing the training, somebody just decide to mate or whatever? Well, you, you know, in, in training time at the club, people showed up with uh, with eggs in the bottom of the crate. I mean, uh, they're, they're, not get, they're not working their birds enough, you know? Right. It just don't happen much. Uh, uh, when you're working them, they don't have no time for that. Okay, so I got a question for me personally, right? So everybody asks me, like, why I don't fly my birds in my house? Like, why I don't fly my birds? And I'll be like, I spent too much money on some birds to fly, even the offspring, to fly the offspring. Do you feel like, do you feel like it don't matter how much money you spend, you should still fly them? Yeah. yeah. I put the 9-11 uh, sons, uh, the, the grandsons and all that, I put them to fly. Like it's just right now? And you know what? Look at my gander. My gander fly his birds around the house. Yeah. And he got he got probably birds in there. Their their yeah, offsprings yeah. are yeah. hundred thousand or more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he but fly them. I'm not a millionaire though. Huh? I'm not a millionaire. Though. It don't matter. It just uh, it's, it's good to fly them. It's good to see if they're smart or not. You know, and you find out around around the law how smart they are. At what age? What age do I, do I let them out when I start flying? Uh, I say. I say about maybe about 45 to around 50 days around there, you can start letting them off. Yeah. But uh, you know, some of the people that are successful in the sport in the one loft race, they fly birds. They fly birds. People, I'm talking about people that win every year. They win in money. They're just flying around the house. Yeah, and they fly at the clubs. Oh, some people yeah, do. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the house. Well, but they fly them at, some of fly them at the house too. But they're real successful. So how do so what's the difference? When you let the birds out to let them out to fly around here and not take them somewhere else, you run you run them through the same process as move the truck. This guy's right? Yeah. No, I let them out to Lindor and then out to the Avery. That, oh. that I'm fixing to show you. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a whole different process. We get them out of the section, they go into there, and they're ready to fly, and then we'll open that the, the Avery door and they just come out and fly, man. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All these open, so. so. Uh, you want to join? Uh, they'll come out. Nah, it's obvious. It's obvious. How you want to say it? Please. They know already. You know, they come out here. They know it. Come on, 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 come on,
So what's the purpose of this? Just the, All right, uh, this is condition right here. Right. That's how you keep them in condition. Okay, okay. Yeah. So See, you need to climb and climb and keep them in condition. Uh, okay, so how do you get all of them back in? Uh, once I, once they uh, they, they uh, complete the time flying, then we uh, call them in, start whistling them in, and then we call them in, and then we, we, we get them, we feed them and everything, and that's all they The whistle like the and whistle the feed. And the feed will That's what, that's it? They, right. as, as soon as I start yeah, listening, then they know it's, it's time, time to eat, time to, eat, time to go, get in. Yeah, we're flying for about hour, hour and 20 minutes. So is it not good to, I mean, is it better to, you know what I'm saying, feed them once a day, you know what I'm saying, other than letting them free feed at home? Yeah, pigeon needs to be uh, oh, fed. They, they, they need to be fed a certain time, and they need it because they have a clock in their head, man. So everything has to be fed. And if they're not doing nothing, it's good that they just fed once a, once a day. Right. If the pigeons are not doing anything. Because, uh, like I said, we just... He, he, he sent out a whistle. To get the whistle? Yeah. The, they're, they're conditioning. Yeah, they're conditioning. They're flying here in the area. But they're working out. They're working out. There's, a, there's some that pigeons that uh, <laughs> probably... Not, it's a possibility a them, that they like, turned late them, yesterday. Mm. Yeah, and um, uh, and sometime know, when they, they, they come back hand late hand from uh, uh, training, they, either they feel hungry, they just, you know, and they don't want to exercise the next morning. Or we got to, we got to see them. We got to check them, make sure that uh, they're not injured. 
mm -hmm. stuff like that. Because it, it happens. We get a lot of accidents and stuff that happens on on uh, when we're training on the road. Mm. So you know, as day day by day, it's a different it's a different program. So it's a program that we do is day, day by day. <laughs> so we all give them uh, like the doxycycline. We all we all, all weigh them in probably if they having a problem. We all just kind of. It's kind of already uh, it's based on the, the water. You yeah, on the water. Oh, okay, so the, gotcha. suppl water. the supplements is okay. given by them by teaspoon, tablespoon, stuff like that. Gotcha. So it's, it's based on the water. So so if it's a gallon or if it's two gallons, you know, right. we, we go by that. Okay. And uh, and and that's how that's how we do it. So a lot. Some people has quarantine. When you when you put them in quarantine loft, they go into the into the main loft. They get sick of you. Right. Okay. So you did your. Own. Don't this shit out. Yeah, mm -hmm. this shit right, man. Mm -hmm. Kind of help out, so they don't get strength directly on the lawn. Yeah. Yeah. Since I've been using it, what I found out is that they kind of don't strike them right here straight on the lock. You know? It kind of helps out. It's not 100% guaranteed, but it helps out. Last year we paid $100,000. Actually, like I said, it was optional. Yeah, I think so. so, meaning that whoever wanted to be in it, uh -huh. Um, got in it, so we had we had about 318 birds that, that got selected for the 400 optional. I know. And then uh, we shipped, um, I think it was 317 or something like that. And then uh, we end up getting back like 200, 90 or 286 or something like that. So we got a good percentage back, even from the 400 mile. Yeah. And that's the hardest race, then. Uh, yeah, for last year, yes. I can't remember what it was, but I think it was 618 that went to the uh, to the final. Yeah. Out of the uh, 640 some that we activated, so basically 90 some percent. Like I was getting back over 96 percent of the bird return, race by race every year that's, last year. That's crazy. Uh huh. It was like not to brag, but it was the highest percent in the country. So I'm very, I'm, I'm, uh, of the one loft races, all the one loft races, it was the highest percent in the country last year on returns, pretty much. Yeah. Like some of the races, I got 98, 99 percent back of the bird. It was like one of the races, I think I, I, I mean, got. You training them right. Yeah. I mean, you but when you're dealing with a lot more birds like this, everybody knows it's impossible to, uh, to you know, to, to keep them out. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they're not all going to be champions. Yeah. You can have the best genetics, and you can have, I mean. I look at Michael Jordan. Yeah. You know, he had brothers. Yeah. Then we're all ba basketball players and, and, you know, best in the world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you can have the best genetics, but doesn't mean that you're going to get from one pair, they're all going to be champion. You might get one in there that is even best than, best than, than their parents or their generations. I mean, their, uh, you know, grandparents or whatever. But, but you might get some in there that are just not good at all. No, no, I just come in because... Um, Check this out right now. He's gonna show you the difference in, 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 in a good racing pigeon and a, in a pigeon that he that he feel like is not a good racing pigeon based off the body structure. Drop them out of the. That's what we call. It. We drop them out of the sky. Why? Why? Why do they see them and come down? It kind of gives it gives them the uh, um, the trust uh, that it's okay to land. They don't fly. They don't fly much. So when you drop them on the top, they don't fly off. No, we. I can let them from the front of the loft. I can just let them go. And he'll fly directly to the uh, landing board. And then the one that is coming from the race, see that, and they land right away. Right yeah, after that's the only reason why you got there. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's it. I, I don't. I don't. I don't like it for nothing else. Them. And we breed them. We got a lot, bunch of babies over there. Yeah, people yeah. always come over here and they want to buy them. Yeah. Like one, one off race people. No. Uh, uh, regular, 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 regular. They were just breeding. Uh, we got a bunch of babies over there. I don't care if they don't sell for big money or whatever. I just, I just, uh, this is the hit. You can handle her out here. That's a, that's a, uh, Miss Good Friday. That's a hand that won big and it's uh, uh, $70,000.
So basically you just breed her? Yes. Yeah, I got some of her children's out and the one love phrase is here. She's a, she's a granddaughter of Picasso, famous Picasso here in the United States. And you said that was in 2019, yeah. she won that? When I, what I meant by the uh, uh, vents, like if you look back here, if, if you touch back here, at the end of the body, you can see that they're real tight and close. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you're, you're holding the bird, let me see what you That's how. See, my, my my grandpa used to try I'm to tell female. me that that's how you tell if it's a male or female. Uh, not really. They're all gonna have that. How you how you choose? They say if it's open, big. If it's open a lot, it's a female, and if it's closed, well, it's a male. Sometimes when they're when they're uh, open a lot, it could be a egg. Uh, it could be an egg, or it could be that if it's if it's not mating, if it's not laying eggs, then it shouldn't be open. No. Like right now, it's not open, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. if I put it with the cock bird, then whenever she get ready to lay, yes, it's going to be wide open. What's the easiest way to tell from a male from a female for you? I, I don't know. Sometimes, you Croak. know. You do, we white, is that six months old, and see it start croaking and shit? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's something in the head that kind of tells you. I, I really don't know how to explain it, but it's something in the head that tells you, this is a cock, this is the hen, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes, and that's one thing about the kiddos, they got me a little bit confused. The kiddo, not the best kiddo, but the kiddo. Yeah. Uh, the 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 females look like males, and yeah. sometimes you be like, oh wait a minute, this is a this is a male or female. She, sometimes you be confused. All the time. You guys show my other. Right hand, right hand or left hand? Both. No, but you say both. Go like that, okay? Not real. If I wasn't older like that, she'd fly away, you saying? This keeping her from flying away. Mm -hmm. Holding her, her, her feet. Holding her feet like that, okay, yeah. You can even let go of this if you hold her feet right. Right, right, right here like that, just hold the feet right all the way. Is that shaking like that? That's what I like. They get the shaking like that? Mm -hmm. how, old is, how old is this? How old is she? 2019? She flew and began in 2019, 2020. Right, 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 right. Uh, the baby sold, you know, I sold them to somebody. Yeah, they did something? Yeah. Uh, I haven't heard either because they were freedom this year. Right, 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 right. right, 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 right. Yeah. There you go. You have a portion of that, son? Right, yeah. Top dollar, Kino Houston. Top dollar, Kino is underscore Houston. This year, I've heard her at one lot race, but I won't know until next year because they're yearly race. About $70,000 raising pigeon at that. So the ones that I sent them, they're going to race next year in February. Or 2023. 70 racks, you know. No yeah. play playing. Mm -hmm. You bred this bird? Uh, this year I bred her to several different cocks, uh, but they're all out. I got birds in the year 2018, 2000, and 2019. I sent to uh, the franchise, Paul Daniels, mm -hmm. here in Texas. He's got a franchise a race. race. Yeah. And uh, I won that race, same year that uh, the other one won the Big Andes. Yeah. But this cock right here. That's it, I come from club. This one comes from a base family. He ain't no famous porch or anything. He just come from but a base. At the same time, it's not base. It's got, it's got Gabby. It's you got, been breeding that, them, that line of pigeons for how long? I've been breeding them for, i say now, 20, 22 years. So how is that a base Dang. pigeon if you've been racing pigeons for 22 years and you've been breeding that for 22 years? That's but an extreme I, racing I, pigeon. I got in the one loft race in 2017. I wasn't no, always I'm saying, but that season. bird, it come from 20 years of breeding. How is that basic breeding come from basic breeding? It come from 20 years. Like, usually in 20 years, I mean, that's when it get good. Yeah, well, that's where it come from. I had a, all, the, all those many years of breeding. So that's supposed so to be this, like your this, version of your poor shit. Yeah, that's your this, shit. this is my version of my pigeons that now we're winning with. Last year in California, um, uh, sister of this bird right here, uh, bred a seventeen thousand dollar winner at the Royal Cup. How much? Seventeen thousand. Seventeen. Yeah, they, there was a split. The split. It was uh, it was on the drop, and the split was seventeen thousand each. Wow. So so the guy called me right away. And he's like, hey, I want to buy another pair. But the one over there had four chinos. But anyway, what I wanted to show you that the same year this guy won, his brother was flying at the Hoosier, and he was fifth on average speed going to the final when the whole law burned down. Out of how many birds? 
You ever heard of the story? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hold off, burn down. Yeah, check out them. This is a cop. How many birds is in there? In the, uh... In that rake where he won't fit, the brother. Uh, win. He feel like a, he uh, feel good. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't, the brother didn't win. The bird got burned down. The whole loft got burned. How many birds in the law? Nah, he feel like, he feel like some shit. His shit, he, he, he's he, he, soft, off, like. How much you charge for these? Yeah, that's how this year was number one. And then the second year, I sent out his daddy, I sent him the number one. Twice. In the mouth? For one. But uh, remember, the franchise, uh, the franchise is the franchise flown from 200 to 400. From 200, he came in and I can't remember, like it was in the first 30 places or something like that. Yeah. He was ready. From the 400, he took first. He was first in the truck. He, he's heavy, heavy lime bread? No. No, he's a cross pigeon. He's, uh, he's got a little bit of Millam and Jensen, which is my base. He's got a little bit of Hooven in it. This is old family. Like old chicken. family. Yeah. Uh, this is, it's got, he's got some Gabby bird in him. So it's, it's, a, it's a mix. It's a mix bird. These are the last year. And in one, uh, in one loft, what you what 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 you won with the most with in one loft? The most I won in one loft is for not the money. I'm talking about the genetics. What birds consistently won? Like you know the genetics. Like was it the ones you made or the ones you bought? Um, honestly, in the one loft race, uh, I, I think I've been doing now better with the porch. But uh, but um, this blood right here, uh, had, uh, I can't even pronounce how they. Uh, yeah. But anyway, they got that hand, the mother to this bird, and yeah. it's producing amazing for him. And it's a Porsche 911 daughter. And Golden Prince. I mean, and, uh, yeah, the Golden Prince. Hold on. So is the mother to to, to that bird a Porsche 911 daughter? The mother to this bird is a sister, half sister to the 911 cock. Okay. So it's actually a line half, bread. Line bread, half brother and sister mate. That's better. How old is that guy? 2019. How long you had it? Two, since 2019. Oh. He came in that year. How much you set up for? For him? Yeah. Still 1911, that's that. Yeah. <laughs> how much you want? How much you go for? How many, how many, how many, you know, how many direct ones you got? He direct? No, 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 no. <laughs> How much you? How much you? How much you want for that bird? If you uh, did sell it, I don't want to sell it. But if you did sell it, <laughs> uh, no more, no less than forty grand. Forty grand. He's uh, he's actually in Thailand. The first year I sent out of him to Thailand, and the only time I sent to Thailand, I was eleven ace pigeon in Thailand out of seventy four hundred birds. And, and you know what? I didn't get a penny for it. No. I didn't get nothing because they didn't pay money on the on the uh, on the uh, ace category. They didn't pay money. What year was that? Uh, 2020. Why did they pay money? They didn't. They only paid five places on the ace category. Oh, that okay. was in the money and the final with that same bird. That bird, that bird. that bird sold to China. Mm. And how would but that? Oh, that was off of him. If right now that pigeon would have been to uh, would have been in Pippa for sale, you know, I would have got some money for that bird. How old is that bird? He's the son of the 911 cock, the world famous 911 cock. And then also, um, um, there was another guy who had sold him a, a son of him. Um, the same year that when I got him, and he won money here in my race with a grandson of that bird. I don't see that race. Yeah. I'll show you another one that uh, is uh, really special for me. I like when birds like how he he bruh. You know, huh? I like when birds like act like how he act like he don't want you to hold him like he wanna get out. That's kinda of like what you were saying earlier. Also you want to feel that the birds vibrates in your hands, it has that energy in them that, that it feels it feels like, you know, with a lot of Vitality in your hands. Right. It tells you yeah. that the pigeon has got good blood in them. You know? right. Eighth in the trap, but it was equal first. It was in the same group. Oh, okay. Same drop. This guy right here, the Porsche he's, Panamera. He's he said a, in, in Mexico, and uh, the son did what? In Mexico, his uh, his grand granddaughter or grandson, one of the grandchildren, was uh, 12th place position last week uh, versus 52,640 birds in the race. There was a huge release they had over there in Mexico in Guadalajara. So the guy who, who owns the son of this guy right here called me and said, hey, 
He said, I, I took 12 place in that race. How much you won? No, no, no. It was not a money race. It's a club race, but it's, 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 it's a lot of pigeons in the race. Yeah. 52,000. Yeah, and then this guy right here uh, at the Texas Desk for Cash bred me last year, the winner. One of the winner there. I see Brad. He's up. He's up. He's a full brother to Gentle Lady. So Gentle Lady, Gentle Lady is the um, is the hen that it was fourth through the trap, equal first in South Africa Million Dollar Race. The last year they had the South Africa Million Dollar Race. Mm -hmm. The pigeon land right in front of the trap, but instead of going in right away, she turned around, and the other three pigeons that came with her came in, went through, and then she. She snapped and then went in and she dropped in fourth. You said that's what Gentle Lady that's did. Why they, that's why they call her Gentle Lady because she let the other, <laughs> the other one in. Mm -hmm. so, and you know who bought that again? Uh, uh, Samuels from South Africa. Oh yeah, Black Dude. Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is this is a really really special cock bird right here. That's that's a, the brother to Gentle Lady. Yep, full brother to Gentle Lady, and now he's like I said, his his uh, his children, his uh, grandchildren are they're 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 winning they're they're winning in a one off race too. Matter of fact, this is the one that that uh, won me uh, last year. Texas Dash Cat directed from him. That's the one I won to race. That's the one that won to race. First yeah. place, yeah. equal first. The equal dog first. is good. Not only that, he was equal first Man. in some of the other races too. And how's he bred? Uh, he's bred out of him and uh, Sherbet him. It was a cross. Sherbet, Sherbet. Sherbet. So what you looking for when you uh, do the wing bread? I'm just looking at like so how thick the wings is, how consistent they are, like how, how they line up. You know, some birds be a moat, so you really can't yeah, judge they're, it they're off. Right now, you too. can't really judge it off the, how the quality of the feathers, more like how they line up. A plane, like when you look at a plane, don't nothing look weird about the motherfucking wings. You know, <laughs> right. I really got the bird, like, do it look like consistent? Like, 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 this one is uh, this one is a race out of the uh, 911 cup. Yeah. Just that the, the final race turned out to be a really bad race, and then he come on he come in the next morning, so he was uh, he was 10 on average speed. But this is out of out of the 911 cup. Bred to who? Bred to uh, Miss Lucky Freddy, another another super breeding hand from uh, from uh, people that I got. Lucky Freddy is Miss, a, Miss Lucky Freddy. Is a Porsche blood. It's got it's got gladiator. Castboard and port and uh, and uh, freighting. Same, some of the stuff that they made uh, ports with. But well, that's the son of the 911. It's like the only one I got breeding. That's not good, right? I wouldn't know because I wouldn't know. Yeah, I was in there too. I was like, it looked kind of cool. Yeah. Huh? Oh? Yeah. 2019. I brought them all in 2019. All the cocks, the hens. All, all those I got them all. They all feel the same too. They got that muscle. You tell it's the same. I got, I got, also got two direct out of Dali. Dali is one of their famous birds too. Salvador, Dali, their brothers. And on the top side, he's a, a grandson to the famous, not the famous, the uh, legend 30, I think. But I, got, I got children from him and Pattaya, and uh, I got flying in different wildlife races. Just last week uh, at the activation race at Roby's, at Orlando uh, Golden Classic, and, and his son was on the first drop at the activation. So we'll see how we'll see how I do. And, uh, on the other ones, on the other races. But I think I think he'll I think he'll be a, a really good breed. We'll see. What color is that? <clears throat> it's a silver. The, the black color and the and the silvers that tells you that it's a cockbird. Hundred percent. A female will never have that. Could be silver, but it's never gonna have those black spots in them. And you can only tell on these color these colored ones. Uh, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, so, so so even when they're babies and they're they're in the nest and they got that black like that in the tail, when they got a week back, when it's weak, they go either like this or it goes like that. So pigeons got balance, so it's, it makes Sam more aero. My uh, it's gonna be my race my race team right here, my own personal race team over here.
So this is a new lot that we just built. Those are the, huh? Gosh, hey. <laughs> yeah, that's a, those are the, those are the uh, fancy birds. As soon as they, we see them in the sky when they come from the lakes, mm -hmm. we throw them on the landing board. Right. And then the, and then the bird land right away. Here, old, old cocks. Uh, not, not very many, but uh, a few. Uh, that would be my love, man. It's going to be similar uh, here. Well, I heard. You said what? The best of the best. I'm doing it. Last year? Right here is uh, uh, my young birds from this year that I'm going to be racing. Okay. What are your birds that you racing for this year? This right here. Off races, but they're going to be racing here locally. The club. Okay. And together with the rest of those over there. So they'll, at one point, uh, we'll train them all together. When is the local club race here? When is it going? Old Bird is going to start in March. Okay. And we fly for like two and a half months. Right here and they just go in right away. These ones right here? Yeah, those are, those are the, the traps and the, the antennas right there. Everything is set up for but some or not. At the end? Back in the old days, I would have said something like, you know, just, just get into the club and, and, you know, experience everything out. But the way it is now and so many people getting into the one love race, just make sure you get some good blood, man. Right. Some good family pigeons and pigeons that are winning from for other people. Right. You go straight with that, don't lose your time. Exactly. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the thing. I, I, I say that, you know, if you just want to get something that, you know, bloodline that is winning for other people and, and bring them in. And if you're, if you're thinking about the one law phrase, then. Yeah, definitely wall off. If, it, if you were doing something like uh, club racing, that, that, that would be totally different, but I still would tell you go get some good, you know, family of birds. Right. To do it, to start with, because it, cut, it cuts down the, the, the process of uh, experience your own, you know, all, all that all that genetics, you know. Right. I got birds from Aztec, He's got great Ken birds. Easley, great birds. Big Andy, Otto, and that's it. Yeah. Read them and... Um, I don't know, I can't say everybody, because Aztec and Ken Easy both got high, like, you know, real, real nice birds. I think Ken Easy got a real strict program breeding. Like he don't have a lot of birds. He don't. He got a real strict. But he only breed out of certain pairs. I think. Oh, uh, I'm gonna tell you, man. Aztec is the. He was the hottest. He was the hottest loft in America last, last year. Last year. Yes, and he doing good this year. Yeah, he's doing good. He, so both of the yesterday, birds. Yesterday, he's he's pigeon uh, scored first at the his Hoosier. His wife. At the Hoosier. Yeah. His. So the, the the pigeon he won first place Hoosier. I have the nest mate. The Pigeon, Aztec won second place, Victoria Falls, Super Ace, I have the next mate. So mm. I know. I, I didn't lose on that. I made yes, sure I got that. At the international one loft race or the big race that the pigeons go on sale on the auctions, uh, you as an owner, if you have a pigeon that is in the top, whatever they sell for, you only pay 50% of that sale. Mm. So if you buy a pigeon that is your own bird, yeah, then this. you will um, uh, pay 50%. Of the sales. Yes, to have a race every seven days. Yeah. Right. But you know we gotta we gotta yeah, we gotta we has got a different plan. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so, so see, everybody who we'll see a plus in the rest of back and yeah. land yeah. they start getting all okay. together. That's great. How about the only thing? That's the only we that's the only way you can get them. That's how you keep them in condition. They do a contract with the race where they're gonna be selling the the winners. Through their site. Oh, okay, gotcha. And, and that's how they that's how they get. Oh, so that's how they, uh, like when you send your uh, your bird off for training, people get the the training data every day through people. So I mean, wing all, all the all the results is on the website. So wing companion. Yeah, it's a, uh, here it's on wing companion. What's the deal? Where's my performance log bridge, man? We here, at my man Johnny. Black Gold Race, man. It's a beautiful, beautiful program being ran right here, man. West my performance had to come check it out, man. Kind of let the people know, you know, exactly the whole process between the race and the training, you know, the feed schedule, how he, you know, how he, you know, get the birds in top performing shape in order to be able to do his races. As you can see, this is what's going on. He treat right now. He got the birds out on an hour of training, a free, a free, a free fly uh, conditioning. The birds are looking fantastic. As you can see, they're flying past. They, they, they're doing what they're supposed to do. And I want to give a shout-out to Johnny from Black Gold Race for letting West my performance come through to get this, you know, one-of-a-kind vibe, you know what I'm saying, and get to see it in person, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a whole lot of West my performance, man.
Hey, man, Westmont Performance, we showed up 7 o'clock. Man, the clouds were still on the ground, you know what I'm saying? They had to let the crowds rise and clear the skies and let the birds out, get them some conditioning training. This is no play play. This is one of the best of the best guys in the game, you know what I'm saying? He showed us his birds. He showed us how he runs his program. He showed us how he conditioned the birds. Showed us how he separates them, you know what I'm saying? Showed us how he feeds them, clean them. Showed, them, showed us the, 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 the computer work on how he puts everything in the systems and scan the birds in as they comes into the loft. There's no play play best of the best from the east to the west. Check in. Hey, we can get at this shit or what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, we got the birds in the back, you know what I'm saying? We got black gold race, man, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, my man, Honey Grand, he on the uh, he on the top of the loft and he, you know, keeping the birds from, from, from coming home so they can keep conditioning, you know what I'm saying? He got a strict conditioning program. He want to make sure they condition for a certain, certain amount of time. So he got his brother up there uh, keeping the birds away from the loft until it's time for them to come to the loft, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, we learn something new every day. A whole lot of my performance. Hey, we learn something new every day, man. We woke up to learn a lot today, you know what I'm saying? We seen a whole bunch of birds, over 1,400 birds in conditioning right now, you know what I'm saying? They flying all over. We learning the program, we learning how to do races, we learning how to condition birds, we learning how to keep birds home, and we learned some feed today, you know what I'm saying? We learned a lot. Subscribe to the channel, West Month Performance, uh, 30 Rich uh, YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you stay in tune with what's going on. This is the best of the best from the east to the west. He showed us a uh, million dollars worth of merchandise and million dollars worth of um, income in these birds. No play play, best genetics. And we got birds flying all around, man. You know the truth, you know what I'm <laughs> No, we got birds flying all around, you know, as you can see. Um, they conditioning, they looking good. They circling how they supposed to. We don't see no hawks out, so, you know, they, they, they safely conditioning. This is the type of race and program that West My Performance would be allowed to be a part of. Uh, his next time he was, well, he would be at Johnny for Black Gold Race. His next time that he would be accepting birds would be March of 2023. West My Performance will be racing um, Black Gold Race. March 2023. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Johnny for allowing us to come here to see, you know, live how he trains them, how he conditions them, how they're living. You know, with that being said, you know, I feel very, very comfortable sending my birds here. Man, shout out from shout out to Johnny from Black Gold Race. How a lot of you? Yeah. I need you in the video. Oh, for me? Yeah. How you doing, man? It's Rich from West Mount Performance, man. I want to give a shout out to my man Johnny from Black Gold Race for allowing us to get a chance to come see it. You know what I'm saying? I love the way he conditioned the birds. I love the way he keeps his birds. I love the way he runs his very strict program. You know, this is the type of one loft race that West Mount Performance Loft would like to be a part of. Uh, the next time Johnny would be accepting birds for the Black Gold Race would be March 2023, and West Mount Performance will be a part of that. I want to thank Johnny for giving us the opportunity to come see it live and, you know, catch this ultimate vibe, you know what I'm saying? East of the West, best of the best, man. Um, best genetics, tap in, you won't regret it. Invest West Mount Performance, Black Gold Race, no play play, man. The best of the best from the East of the West, 2,000 birds in the Black Gold Race, man. See the number, you see the sign. Black Gold Race, no play play, 30 reach. Again, we're showing you guys the whole programming of um, 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 racing pigeons. Make sure you tap in and understand. West Mount Performance on YouTube, 30 reach on YouTube if you want to get the knowledge and the information to fly these pigeons, race these pigeons, win companion. All right, man. Well, we appreciate you guys for coming by. Yes, and then uh, thanks a lot, both of you guys, or all of you guys, the cameraman too, right here. So, uh, Black Gold Race, we start accepting birds in uh, March uh, 2023. And we're going to be set up for uh, taking in. Uh, 2,000 birds, so everybody just come my way, come my way. <laughs> come my way, come my way. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. So, so what we're doing here, we're gonna, um, we're gonna set up the system so when the birds come in, they can trap and then this, this whole system uh, records all the birds and then send it to the, to the website, to the wing companion and to the uh, benzene one love race. My clock is right here. And, and then I'll reset it for new training. <clears throat> all right, so first of all, I gotta open up uh, benzene. You can see one love race. And um, we'll close this training. Just say stop, we close it. Yes, yes. And then we're gonna generate a new one. So, so I just, Call it law fly for today. 
And today is uh, 10, 16, 2020. We'll say training, birds flying here at the loft. Uh, we'll set up the date. We just say it, um, 8 o'clock. And uh, this is the distance. They're not flying any distance, so we just put one. We'll publish it to the website, to the internet. And then uh, we, this is just a whole pro program that we got up. So now, this is ready for scanning, right here. So I set that clock on, on training mode. Take, take a few seconds. Once it's set up, and there's another process that I got to do, which is going to the wing companion. So it's two, we're, we're dealing with two systems here. So now we, we go to wing companion, and um, I just open up the wing companion. Okay. I go to my website, BGR, and I go into my, uh, my account system. And I just create a new race, which is a, today is a new training. So, and right here, we're going to scan that actually a benzene gives me this number, putting it into wing companion from benzene to wing companion. So it's, it's a little process that you got to do. So, call it Love Fly, today's date, the time that we let them out, 8 o'clock. Uh, we let them out here at Waller, so it's. it's and then we just generate a new. New training. So. Okay, so now the whole system is, is set up for. For the birds to come in. So once the birds come in and they hit the antenna pad, as soon as the first one they punch in, it's gonna be in there. Get back, go back over there. Yeah, he got a hit, yeah. Bro, it was on my arm, everything, bro. I, 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 oh, it was on your arm, too? Yeah, that's why I took my hair. Oh, no, that ain't, that ain't.
All right, right now you're looking at the birds going in that? and they landed from training condition. It's scanning right now. Live. This is live right here on the um, website of Benzing. You know what I'm saying? They're scanning, letting everybody know who sent birds. The times of um, coming in and, and letting them know that they have arrived. Everybody that's sent birds here for the race and the training is on Wind Companion and Benzing right now. The birds are landing back in their cages. They're coming in through the top. As you can hear it dinging, they mean they're coming through the scanner. See the scanners? These are these are these are the wires for the scanners. The birds are coming in right on top of this roof. As they coming in and coming in, it's calculate each one that's coming in and scanning their band. You know what I'm saying? We at the Black Gold Race, we learning and getting the knowledge and looking at some of the best genetics and learning who sent birds here. And uh, you know what I'm saying, studying this background of race of pigeons. You know what I'm saying? We're learning the genetics, we're learning how to race. Eventually, we'll have our own race. So, we're learning what it takes and, and what's he got going on, you know what I'm saying? To run the race. Run, 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 run the race. His own race, black gold race, you know what I'm saying? What's my performance? We do our footwork every day. No play, play, man. We're looking at it, we're learning it, we're listening to it, you know what I'm saying? I'm a great student and I'm also a great teacher, you know what I'm saying? So, do not play, play with Dirty Rich ever, ever again. New franchisee, what's my performance, man? He locked in, loaded, got his yes, franchise. Sir. You know what I'm saying? He's Appreciate now part of the guy. What's my performance, bracing law? You know what I'm saying? So let me tell y'all what happened. Oh, my, yeah, the whole thing. My man had the forward, you know what I'm saying? And then my man, you know what I'm saying, invested and got the half of the half of the business. Then my man came and took the footwork, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's, that's my man, uh, you know what I'm saying? What's my performance, footwork, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna be tripping on that about the footwork. Look at what's going on and understand what's going on here. We had the black gold race training, birds are flying in, they're getting scanned. This is live training performance right now. No play play east of the west, the best of the best. We woke up at seven in the morning when the clouds were still on the ground mm -hmm. doing the footwork, learning the knowledge and learning the sure. genetics of what's going on really, really. Learning who's sending birds and why they're sending birds and how they're performing around here. This is what we're gonna do. We're we'll gonna get the shit in order. And another thing too, my man, this is this is first time even seeing the birds, dealing with the birds. My man and got a franchise like this week, two, three days later, he already at the man house. Johnny right. from Black Gold Race, he's seeing it live in person. He, you know what I'm saying? He learned some of the best. You know, this man been breeding pigeons and racing pigeons for 20 years. And, you know, my man been in the game for a week and he got right over here. So yeah. we're connecting the dots, you know, meeting with the right people to, you know, make it make sense. Yes, a lot sir. of watch my performance. Yes, sir, man. I been here for a couple hours, man. I feel like I got a whole two, three years worth of game, man. So I definitely appreciate y'all for bringing me in, man. I definitely appreciate you, Johnny, for having us, man. And, you know, we're going to go up from here. I'm Trey Black. Follow me at Black Rose Kendall's 817. You know, it's just like that. Cut that on, the heart coming. 
That's crazy. You gonna be shooting the hawks down? They better go in the house. <laughs> For real. <laughs> You think it's time still going or? Yeah. With him, uh, he's deep, deep. You know, we charge people. Uh, one cock, one hand. Uh, I have uh, my tax lady. I let him know everything I'm doing as I go. Two. Cameraman? Yeah. One cap? Thank you. Hey, you want a cap? Put mine on for video. Don't. I'll listen to my work. Put it on. Let me see what you got with that on. Let me see what you got with that on. You got a medium shirt? You got a medium shirt? Yeah. Black coat? You like you a fisher. What's that? What color? Black or white? I know the wear hats, man. It's a whole lot of black gold going on, man. Yeah, white. White? You know the truth? Man, shout out my man Johnny Black Gold Race, man. He's a wonderful fellow with a wonderful breeding program, with a wonderful racing program. Black Gold Race, Johnny, man. Hold on, where's my performance? Yo, bro, yo. <laughs> I, like, I look like I need to go in the with 30 now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's a harsh black deal. Appreciate it. How much you want to be served? Oh, 